So if you want to rewind or add a reverse effect into your video in Shotcut, this is how you do it. So right now I just have this generic clip that we're going to be adding a reverse effect to. So the first thing you want to do is just select the clip, right click and hit copy or hit control C and then just move the playhead to the end of it and you can paste it by using control V. As you can see this will paste a duplicated version of our first clip. However from there you just want to select it and then go to properties and go to the reverse button. From here a new window would open and it's going to give you some range of qualities that you guys can choose but I'm just going to go with the default quality. And that's pretty much it. From there a new jobs window would open and as you can see it will start the process of reversing your video. Now, as you can see, the process of reversing your video has finished and we can see that it automatically applied to it. So if we hit play, we can see that the effect has been added. Now, all we're going to do is just put the clip side by side to see the overall difference of this effect. And it looks pretty cool, to be honest. So this is the most basic way to add a reverse effect onto your videos. However, I do want to answer some common questions when it comes to reversing a video clip. For example, what if it doesn't appear onto your timeline or what if the reverse effect doesn't apply to your duplicated video clip? So in that case, if the video file doesn't reverse, you can always go back to the jobs export window and just pick and choose the reverse video clip that you have added and just put it back to the timeline. Another common question I want to answer is what happens if I have audio? Will it reverse? Well, yeah, if you reverse the video clip, all the audio would be in reverse as well. But there's a simple fix to it. All you have to do is just choose the reverse clip, right click, go to more and then just go to detach audio. This will open a separate audio track and all you can do is either mute it or just cut it or delete it out of it so you won't have to deal with audio issues anymore. So this is the basic process that you guys can do in order to add a rewind or reverse effect into your videos. However, there are some cool things that you can add such as video and audio effects in order to enhance that reverse effect onto your video. So I'm going to be showing you what these effects are. So in order to enhance the reverse effect onto your video, one easy thing that we can do is add sound effects to it. So I took the liberty of getting some sound effects as well as an overlay that we're going to be using later. We're just going to go to the timeline and open a audio track and we're just going to select on the rewind sound effect that I downloaded. Now you can find these for free in the audio library on YouTube or any other sources as well. And I'm just going to pick the precise moment on which I want the sound effect to start and end. And I'm just going to trim up both edges and place it in the proper spot. So it's a lot of work to get this detailing, but you just want to make sure that the sound effect starts in the exact moment when the rewind effect takes in place. And we're just going to add it right underneath our reversed video clip starts. Now, since this rewind sound effect is not as long as our video clip, there's two things we can do. We can either select the video clip, go to properties and increase the speed of it, which matches the sound effect, or we can go back to the actual video clip and just trim it down to the exact length of the sound effect. From here, of course, we can add some filters and effects to the sound file. However, you guys can add that on your own time, either if you want to decrease or increase the gain in volume. But for now, this is pretty much okay. Now the next thing that we're going to add is a rewind overlay. Now you can easily make this yourself or you can download it off YouTube or other royalty free websites. So the first thing we're going to do is go back and add a video track on top of our main video and just select on the overlay and just bring it down. So as you can see it is a green screen overlay so the most basic thing to do is make sure you select the clip go to filters and go to the video tab and we're just going to be looking for the chroma key advance we're going to use the color picker tool and just go to the preview screen and select the right shade of green and all these settings right here are for you guys to use to adjust the level of opacity and the king option of the actual green screen overlay it's not going to be 100 percent exact since i'm just messing around with it real quick for this tutorial but there are different types of overlays that you guys can use you don't have to use this one specifically but with these adjustments it should make it look even better so the next effect that we can add is going to the main video clip so we're just going to select it go to filters and we're just going to use the contrast filter from here we're just going to give it a washed out look almost like a grayish tone and we're just going to decrease the level of it now there are other ways that you can achieve this look either by adding a gray overlay with opacity or just color grading it in general but this contrast filter does work perfectly 
and if we hit play we can see it going from the original clip to the reversed clip with added effects and to be honest it looks pretty nice for this quick edit but I know you guys can make a much more better job if you put more time and attention to these finer details. But that is the simple process of adding a reverse effect to your video and enhancing it with a few effects. So the process is simple as that. It just takes a little bit of creativity to see what you want to do within your clips when editing on Shotcut. So you can potentially make a pretty cool rewind clip throughout your edits. But that's pretty much it for today's video. Let me know if you have any questions or suggestions. But other than that, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.